dear students very good morning to everyone i am krishnakant pande from kv number 3 sagar today we are going to take up another lesson in your book hani sagar let's start with these two pictures on your screen so you can see there are two buildings one is without people and the other is with people so do you recall some word that comes to your mind uh, yes okay let's see it's a house a home the topic for today's lecture today's class is a house a home this is a poem in our syllabus okay so before we go for the poem let's have some english idioms related to house you know there are various things in our life we express in idioms so here let's talk about some idioms that include the things of the house it's very interesting to know see the first one throw in the towel it means quit or give up throw in the towel means quit or give up means kisi kaam ko chhod dena tyag dena For example, after struggling with my homework, I finally threw in the towel and went to bed. That means I gave up. I quit and I went to bed without completing my homework. All right? Okay. Let's see the next one. Next idiom: hit the roof. Hit the roof means become very angry. when you become very angry or anyone becomes very angry it can be said he has hit the roof okay let's see the example when i found out tom crashed my car i hit the roof right okay let's see idiom number 3 is smoke like a chimney that means smoke a lot some people have the habit of smoking that is a very bad habit but it is part of our society let's discuss it so smoke like a chimney means smoke a lot jeff smokes like a chimney i worry about his health okay so when somebody smokes a lot we can say he smokes like a chimney and it is bad for his health okay the next go out the window go out the window another idiom it means no longer exist or disappear मीन्स गायब हो जाना उस चीज का वो चीज अब अस्तित्व में नहीं है किसी चीज के बारे में हमें कहना है तो वो चीज समाप्त हो चुकी है खत्म हो चुकी है सो वी कैन एक्सप्रेस इट इन इडियोमेटिक वे वाई से गो आउट द विंडो लेट सी द एग्जाम्पल हिज डाइट वेंट आउट द विंडो ड्यूरिंग द हॉलीडेज इट मीन्स उसकी डाइट हॉलीडेज के दौरान जैसे गायब भी हो गई ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो हियर वी हैव द नेक्स्ट एडियम इट इज एवरीथिंग बट द सिंक बट द किचन सिंक सॉरी एवरीथिंग बट द किचन सिंक इट मींस टेक ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स व्हेन यू गो समवेयर you know people have to go 
for different purposes they go for uh, enjoying their holidays they go on their business trips they go on for their uh, many other works so when people go somewhere and if they have this habit or if they are doing it that time that they are uh, packing everything of their home means uh, they are not uh, leaving many things at home they they think that they will need all of them uh, when they are on the tour so we can call it in idiomatic way that everything but the kitchen sink let's see the example they took everything but the kitchen sink when they went on holidays means when they went for the holidays they took a lot of things with them right okay so here is the stanza one of our poem the poem is a house a home so the poem starts here what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that is hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and a stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that is hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors so in the first stanza we have talked about house the question is what is a house let's see the first stanza has these words about house let's see them it's brick and stone it's wood that is hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves chimneys tile floors stucco roof and doors so here uh, we can see that the poet discusses that a house is mainly about the objects that make the building any building is made up of these things you know uh, when any building is made a brick is needed stones are needed wood is needed window glass is needed sometimes a yard is also needed some people have this facility of having yard eaves chimneys tile floors stucco and roof and lots of doors so all these things make up a house okay let's move ahead stanza number 2 what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring right okay let's see once more stanza number 2 what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring so what is the next or the second stanza talks about it talks about what is a home let's see what makes a home see these words what is a home it's loving it's family it's brothers sisters fathers mothers unselfish acts kindly sharing loved ones and care it means sorry yeah it means uh 
home is made up of loving emotions it is about your family emotions it is about your family it is about your brother it is about your sister your father your mother it is about your unselfish acts it is about kindly sharing you share things it is about your loved ones the people you love and it is about caring so we come to know that a home is about when we say home it means a feeling a feeling of comfort a feeling of love a feeling of sharing a feeling of doing things for uh, our uh, loved ones our near ones okay so uh, this feeling makes a home understand it okay let's go ahead so let us have the summary of the poem a house a home so the poet has tried to define and differentiate between define and differentiate between house and a home he says that a house is made of bricks a stone hardwood chimneys window glass doors corridors roof tile floors these many things make a house and what is has discussed here what is a home a home is another name for loving family members who take care of each other and work selflessly for one another work selflessly that is important right it is about brothers sisters fathers and mothers together make a home it is their unselfish acts and the kindness and sharing towards one another that makes a house a home so here we discuss that a house is a home the last line says that makes a house a home the uh, means a house is already a house but it can become a home see if somebody uh, purchases some house in some colony and uh, that is only a building he uh, does not live there but as he moves in that house he starts living there in the house he develops a feeling of comfort a feeling of safety a feeling of love with and uh, a feeling of family all these things will make the house a home okay so let's continue here uh, in this poem we are talking house versus home so let's see a few things uh, that differentiate them clear cut a house a house is permanent structure or a building okay but what is a home it is the place where you live it may not be a permanent building it may be a tent it may be uh, any open area any jungle it can be a cave it can be anywhere the, any place it does not require a permanent structure all right a location where you feel that you belong a place that gives you the feeling of comfort the feeling of safety the feeling of love you can say that uh, this is my home okay and another point of difference is a house refers to a building in which someone lives you don't know who live who lives there and uh, suppose you come to 
any city for the first time and you see many tall buildings there and you see uh, many people live there but you you don't call them those buildings home you call them houses those buildings so oh, there are many houses in this uh, city there are uh, very beautiful houses in this city like that you can say okay and uh, what is a home it represents comfort it represents safety i uh, you can say like that uh, i visited my friend's home not his house all right and i have invited my friends to my home another point of difference a house is still a house even if there is no one lives there that means a building that is empty no people are living there that can still be called a house but what is about a home it is not like that it's a place where you have this feeling means it can be your town suppose sagar is my hometown so i say sagar is my home when i am out of sagar i will call sagar is my home so city country india is my home when you people go abroad uh, and you introduce yourself there that i i am here and uh, i feel good but uh, after all this is not my home my home is india all right okay let's see next so some difficult words that uh, we came across in this poem eaves here you can see this is called eaves okay the eaves of a roof that projects beyond the wall in hindi we call chhajja the part of the roof that comes over the wall that projects beyond the wall all right okay next one is chimneys what is chimney i hope all of you know it a passage through which a smoke and gases escape from a fire or furnace all right okay next stucco a new word here is stucco a plaster or cement finish for interior or exterior walls you can see it here some plaster or some cement finish or somewhere it is called some fine paint also so that is called stucco that covers the wall okay next one is roof i hope all of you know this word roof a structure that covers or forms the top of a building right this is uh, a roof and uh, you may also uh, have flat roofs okay next word is yard what is a yard the enclosed land around a house or other buildings enclosed land related to that house the land that is related to that house and it is used by the members of uh, the family or families that live there that is called yard okay so now let's see the question answers a house a home do you agree with the poet uh, sorry do you agree with what the poet says so it is personal question for you you may answer yes if you agree with the poet you may answer no if you say no okay uh, the next question in your book is talk to your partner and complete these sentences so you can talk with your uh, brothers and sisters or you can talk with your parents and you can find out the answer for these questions 
A house is made of. A house is made of what things that you can discuss. Okay. It has what a house has that you can discuss and write here. The next one is a home is made by a house is made of something and a home is made by something. Okay. And the last it has what the home has. Okay. Uh, the answers comes on the next slide. A house is made up of bricks, cement, stone or wood. A house has doors and windows. A house has roof, has a roof and can also have a garden. A house has tile floors and sometimes chimney too. Now let's come to home. A home is made up of loving and caring family members. It has brothers and sisters, parents and sometimes grandparents too. Members of a family help each other and a house becomes home when members of a family occupy it. Okay, let's move further. Here we have another question. Now complete these sentences about your house and home. You have to write about your house and your home. My house is like what? And my the best thing about my home is what? Okay. So this is suggestive. You can write like this or whatever you feel. My house is a structure of bricks, marbles and tiles. It has beautiful windows, doors with curtains, a nice drawing room and a spacious study room. All right. The best thing about my home is you can discuss like that or you can have your own answer. The best thing about my home is that all the members are very loving and caring. There are no disputes or misunderstanding among us. All right, students. So here is the home assignment for you about this poem. Write a short paragraph on my family. Number one. Number two, draw pictures of a house and a home. All right. Paste pictures of your family members in your notebook. Is that clear, students? Okay. So thank you very much. Jai Hind. Stay home. Stay safe. Keep learning. Thank you very much.